¿Qué pasa mi gente? Eduardo here, the bucket shooter, again with you. Today we're going to be going over the three absolute must-haves in order to capture that bucket shot. Let's go ahead and roll that intro. All right, so today we're going to go over the three absolute must-haves. Okay, number one, it's kind of a given, gear. Now, I know what you're thinking, you've got to spend thousands on gear and to a certain extent, yes, the better gear is going to give you better end results, um, depending on what you're doing, right? But, big but, you don't need to spend that much. Do not make the mistake to think that you need thousands upon thousands of dollars worth of gear. Yes, the newer equipment might help you a little bit get better results, a little bit easier, but older equipment still is very, very capable of capturing absolutely stunning photos. Whether it's a phone, whether it's an older DSLR with your kit lens that you picked up for 50 bucks. So if you get gear, know your gear's capability and understand it inside and out, and that will absolutely make the difference in capturing that bucket shot. With that said, again, know your system's capabilities it's a phone, know how close you need to get to your subject, know what kind of low light you can get, and know under what conditions you can use it. Now with phones, I do use different apps that allow me to control ISO, allow me to control the focal point, the depth of field, uh, and also the, uh, the exposure. Uh, so that's key, guys. If you're gonna use a phone, uh, there are plenty of free third-party apps out there that allow you to manipulate those camera settings rather than just throwing it on auto and just same with your camera systems if you get an older DSLR get away from shooting just in auto guys if you want those beautiful bucket shots know the capabilities of your system and that is the biggest key factor in order to capture those great bucket shots capture those beautiful memories and continue to love this amazing uh, art that we are all part of too I know this kind of comes as a shock. I'm, I, this is a hard one for me as well, but make up your mind on your subject. So uh, what that means is the day of that you're gonna go shoot, make sure that you know your goal, what you're gonna go shoot on photo uh, or film, uh, and whether it's whether it's photo or whether it's video, make sure you, you understand your goal because if not, you're gonna be fumbling back and forth, deciding, debating on what you wanna do, and pretty soon you miss your subject, you miss your shot, and that's that for the day, right? So ensure that you know your subject, know what you wanna shoot, know what the goal is for the day, and go out and go get it, right? Go get what you initially set out to, uh, to get. Uh, if you happen to have something that comes up really quickly and you can only get a quick video or a quick shot, whether it's an auto manual, doesn't matter, get it. But at the end of the day, guys, make up your mind for the day's goal and go with it. Execute the mission, and the mission is whatever you decide. This one is the third, but the most important to understand and the most important to take into consideration, time. Time is the most valuable thing you have. It doesn't matter how much money you spend on your gear, it doesn't matter how much research you do on your subject, what goal you have for the day, if you don't take the time to execute, you don't take the time to put forth the effort, it will never happen. You will never capture the bucket shot. And you will go through life feeling like you wanted it, but never got it. And that's because you never dedicated the time. With that being said, I'm gonna point out some uh, factors that are very important in getting the ca uh, in capturing the bucket shot. And that is that you have to make the time most valuable. So try not to let it take time away from other things you love and other important things in your life. Uh, photography can become an obsession and if you don't take the time to step back, look at what you can do to include the most into that little bit of time, whether it's taking your kids out on a little photo shoot you're gonna do out in the wild on a hike, whatever it might be, allowing you to make that time more valuable and still allowing you to enjoy and hit your goals, that is essential, guys. Uh, 
spouse, with your spouses as well. Make sure you include them on it. Make sure that they're enjoying the time. Find a way to include them in on that time and to make the most of your time and you will find yourself so much happier, so much more uh, fulfillment coming from photography, knowing that you can share these moments where you captured that picture and you knew that whether it was your kid, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your you know friends, uh, it doesn't matter. Knowing that you had them there to capture that moment makes it that much more special, guys. Ensure that you're you're spreading spreading the love out there for uh, everyone and, and showing them just how beautiful this art is so we can continue to build upon it and uh, capture those beautiful moments and get that bucket shot. Again, guys, thank you for taking the time on your three tip Tuesday and uh, go out there and get that bucket shot. Until next time, Eduardo the Bucket Shooter is out.